For the rich and influential, the World Economic Forum in Davos is the place to be and to be seen. For Canada, the Posh Business Summit is a new backdrop to deliver its message to China. The detention of Ms. Meng was not about a Canadian case against her. She is it's not accused case. of anything in Canada. She is neither charged nor convicted of anything in Canada. In an interview with Bloomberg, the Foreign Affairs Minister emphasized it is the Americans who demanded Meng Wanzhou's arrest, not Canada. This is a sore point for the Canadians, so much so that Canada's ambassador in Washington, David McNaughton, has even complained to the Trump administration that Canada is sick of bearing the brunt of China's anger since the Americans started this dispute. I think the ambassador to the U.S., McNaughton, expressed some of our frustration to say, we're doing the right things, now U.S., it's time for you to step up. Sources tell CBC News senior members of the Trump administration, including Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton, have personally pledged to do anything to help Canada. While the sentiment is welcome, sources say Ottawa is skeptical. But still, Beijing is accusing both countries of abusing the extradition process while demanding Huawei CFO be released immediately. A message that is now more urgent as the U.S. confirms it will formally file extradition paperwork by the January 30th deadline. What it does show us, though, is that the United States and Canada obviously are continuing along the path that their legal systems have set in motion uh, here and that they are not going to be bullied. Christian Freeland is not ruling out meeting with Chinese officials in Davos this week. She'll also sit down with more international allies to try to rally additional support for Canada. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa. This diplomatic dispute began with the arrest of Meng Wanzhou more than seven weeks ago now. But news today that the U.S. will request her extradition doesn't mean the conflict is close to ending anytime soon. The U.S. has just eight days left to submit the evidence they're relying on to have Meng extradited. Lawyers at the Justice Department here in Ottawa will then have one month to determine if the request complies with our extradition treaty with the U.S. Once that happens, a formal extradition hearing will be scheduled before a judge. And if the court approves, it's still ultimately up to Justice Minister David Lametti to decide whether Meng will be handed over to the United States. There are a number of opportunities for Meng to appeal throughout that whole process, and that means the final decision could still be years away.